In this chapter, we will create another version of our normal map shader in which we will provide user the capability of turning on and off the use of normal map to calculate the normals per fragment, which means that whether we want to use the normal map or not. In order to do that, we will go to our shader dev folder. We will select our normal map shader and duplicate it. Once the shader is duplicated, we will rename it as underscore v2, normal map underscore version 2. We will open the shader in mono develop and we will start modifying it. In the previous chapter, we saw that we need three different steps in order to create multivariant shader. One is to first define the property and the keywords that we want to use in a drop down menu. Second, use hash pragma multi underscore compile or shader underscore feature. In our example, we will be using shader underscore feature because we want to include only those versions of compiled shader which are used somewhere in the project. Third option is to use hash if, then choose the block of code that you want to execute based on the option chosen in the material property. So we will begin with our first step. We will define the property and the keyword enum. To define keyword enum, we will begin with the square brackets and we will say keyword enum parenthesis off comma on. And then we will define the property the way we have been defining, which is the property name or the variable name use normal parenthesis label use normal map it is going to be a float type property and by default its value is zero so we have just completed the step one of the process the step two is to define hash pragma shader underscore feature after hash pragma vertex function and fragment function definition, we will define hash pragma shader underscore feature and then uppercase property name and then underscore uppercase option. And we have finished our step two. And third step is to use hash if and isolate the code that is used with a certain condition or not. In our complete shader, we will go through and we will isolate the code that is being used to calculate the normal value based on the normal map. So we will begin with our vertex input structure. What are the values? What are the attributes that we will have to read from the mesh if we have to calculate the normals based on the normal map? We definitely need the vertex position and the normal and the texture coordinate whether we are using the normal map or not. The tangents are used to create TBN metrics which is used to calculate the normal based on the normal map. So we will isolate that part. We will say hash if underscore use normal underscore on. If the option is on, then use the attribute tangent. Otherwise, do not use it. And there is no else condition because if the use normal is off, we don't want to do anything. We will end this with hash and if. Similarly, in the vertex output, we will isolate the code that is needed to use the normal map. We need the position and the texture coordinate and the normal word in both the cases. 
but TBN matrix is the one that we don't need if we have normal maps turned off. So we will contain this block of code inside our if condition. So far we have updated our vertex input and vertex outputs. So let's save it and see if we have any compilation error. So we have a couple of compilation